Alright guys, time to go fertilize the lawn. What do we got? What do we got? Where are those dogs? Lulu! Ziggy! Hey! What's this? Did you guys get into some roadkill again? You guys will eat anything, man. Mmm, squished squirrel. Mmm, poodle poop. When you sniff each other's butts, man, that's just wrong. What's up? Alright, what channel? What's going on? That's our street. We don't have much information yet, but we can tell you that the man appears to have been attacked by some sort of animal. But nothing has been confirmed yet. So who is it? Ed? Ed? Is he dead? That's just messed up. I heard there was a bobcat sighting in the neighborhood. This is out of control. Okay, what up? You have to tell me in person, all right? Come on over. Hey man, what's up? <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah. Did you get to talk to a cop or anything? Not yet. When did it happen? Man, I'm so glad that Bobcat didn't get these guys when I let them out to do their thing. Yeah, no kidding. And that's what I wanted to talk to you about. I mean, I kind of witnessed part of this. I, I heard some screaming and I looked outside, but I didn't see anything. So I, I, I went out and I went alongside the side of Ed's house and went into his backyard and that's where I found him. And Ziggy and Lulu were chewing on his neck. Alright, that explains the blood on their faces earlier. Alright, here's my take on it. Ed was an old dude. He might have had a heart attack or something when he was outside working on the yard. Man, that guy was obsessed with those roses. He looked like he was going to keel over anyway, right? So, he goes down, maybe having a stroke or something, seeing the bobcat in his yard. Bobcat jumps on the opportunity to score a meal. Then a car comes by, scares it away or something, pugs smelling blood in the air, bolt from the yard, start munching on freshly dead Ed. They're pugs, man. They'll eat anything. It's disgusting. I don't know. I mean, it couldn't have been more than like 30 seconds from when I heard the scream to me watching them tear the flesh from Ed's neck. I mean, there were no signs of a bobcat. Come on, man. You can't be serious. Are you saying these dogs killed Ed? Did you do the wake and bake? You smoke a crack? Are we going to have to get a room full of people and do an intervention? Ooh, I will eat your brains! I will swallow you whole! Alright, I think we both need a beer. Some crazy stuff's been going on. There's got to be a reasonable explanation for this, right? Yeah, I, you're right. I mean, but it was just so surreal to see the pugs tearing flesh off of Ed. Alright, I'm out of beer. I think we're both a little freaked out by this. I'm going to go down the corner and get some beers, alright? I'll see if I can talk to somebody on the scene and get some more info. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Just hang and relax. And don't smoke any crack while I'm gone, alright? I'm sorry, Lulu. I know you're a lover and not a killer. But you've got to stop staring at me like that. Ah!
You have blood on your faces again. Did you bring a chunk of Ed home in a doggy bag for later? Disgusting. So nobody was talking. We'll have to watch the news later. You stinking up the bathroom? That's breaking the code, man. No way. The door was locked. This is not happening. How could you do that? Actually, how did you do that? Can't believe this. And stop staring at me. I feed you, put a roof over your heads, I read you bedtime stories, I teach you meditation and Eastern philosophy, and this is what I get? You know what? I'm just gonna walk out of here. You're supposed to be man's best friend. Adios aliens, I'm gone.